100 thousand subscribers that's still a little bit crazy for me to say out loud given that you know i'm just the average guy walking down the street and i had this goal for so long and after a while it seemed like it was never going to happen but what's most rewarding about this isn't that i was able to accumulate a number online you know it's it's the impact that i was able to have over a lot of different people and also just the fact that i was able to set a goal and stick with it because it wasn't easy <laughs> honestly i wanted to quit a lot but i stuck it out i made it happen and you know i'm really really glad that I did talking to you guys on a work day I told you I was gonna get my acting gear but I just wanted to thank all of you 100,000 subscribers that plaque took like five years countless number of hours I can't even begin to even quantify that number in my mind and the cool part about that is even though that is one of my biggest accomplishments ever I would say it's not even close to my biggest accomplishment within that same time period. So thank you guys so, so much. It truly does mean a lot to me that you take a few minutes out of your day. It almost sounds like I'm ending the video. We just started. feel like second nature. Read it in your eyes. I don't need it down on pain. For tonight's gourmet dinner, we have two chicken sausages. These things are awesome. We have chicken thighs, and then we have some stir-fry cauliflower, supposed to mimic stir-fry rice. Super low in calorie, and it tastes extremely good. So this is very high in protein. Moderate in fat, I would say 30 to 40 grams of fat, which is about half my daily intake, and then very low in carbs. So then at the end of the night, I will have something that is a little bit more carbohydrate heavy. I spend a lot of hours right here in the spot during the week. It's my favorite spot to work right next to my lamp. I've got my tablet. And you know this Microsoft Surface? is actually pretty cool. It's no iPad, don't get me wrong, but it's nice being able to have your customers sign right on there when you're trying to close a deal. Don't need paper, It's just it just works out well. And then tomorrow is Tuesday, so I will not be going to the gym, but I'm not skipping. It's a scheduled off day. On Tuesdays, I try to get out to my remote territories because I cover all of Austin, but then I go all the way up to Waco and then all the way down to San Marcos. So if you're familiar with the Austin area, I'll go out to Bastrop and Smithville. So I have a pretty big territory, and on Tuesdays, I really try to load up on appointments. So tomorrow Tomorrow I'm going out to Waco, got to be out pretty early, probably leave by 6 o'clock, so I'm going to have my poverty brownie, of course you guys know that is never going to change. And for carbs, I think I'm feeling a bagel with a little bit of peanut butter. One thing that I found interesting about sales is that the better that you do, the more work that you get. Like if you land a big deal, you're gonna have a lot of paperwork, you have to get approvals and you have to submit all that. So that's typically what the evenings consist of on good days like today. But then if you have a really bad day and you have nothing to submit, then you kind of spend all your evening thinking about what you need to do better and how bad you suck. So it's just one of those things I had no idea. You know, I think sales has a lot of misconceptions. I know that I've done that video, but I just didn't realize what all was involved. So if you're not busy in a sales job, it probably means you're not doing very well. But anyway, tonight for dinner, I'm gonna have more of this cauliflower stir fry with some ground beef. I'm not all that hungry. In total, this is probably about 450 to 500 calories. So then I'll have something a little bit later on, but I kind of just play it by feel. And I realize my food never really looks that good. It looks kind of poor, you know, but it's not that bad. Pour my soul out through the hazes I'm asleep in the cold tonight I've worn my toes down Bone to the pavement Let something be my life over these last few months, I have learned that a career in sales is not very conducive to a healthy lifestyle. You're always on the road, you're not close to a refrigerator or a microwave typically, so food choices get a little bit challenging if you're not preparing ahead. You're almost always stressed, you're all over the place. There's a lot of variables that go into your day, there's not a lot of consistency, so it's hard to really have a set schedule. 
But at, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's all just a bunch of excuses. And these early morning workouts get harder and harder, I feel like. But that's no reason that they can't get done. There's plenty of people out there in much harder circumstances than I have that are doing it every single day. Now, I used to talk a lot about being optimal versus being realistic. And no, this isn't when I'm going to perform my best. This isn't going to be when I'm most alert or at my strongest. But it's really the only hour and 10 minutes to hour and a half that I've identified that I can dedicate to being in the gym. So that's really what I have to work with. But I have noticed over the last week making better food choices, getting a little bit more sleep, and really trying to focus on the workouts, placing an emphasis on the intensity and on the reason that I'm there. Because I look at pictures of me two, three years ago, and I'm like, what the heck happened, man? And I'm ashamed of that. You know, I never thought I would let myself get to this point, but it's happened and it's just it's just part of life, you know. And I, I do struggle going into the gym and thinking about my workouts. I have so many other things going on and my mind's in a million different places, but I need to make a much better effort trying to make these workouts the best that they can be. Oh, I bet this camera is way too close to my face. What is going on, guys? Long day, productive day. It was actually pretty fun. And you know, one of the most challenging things in sales that I've experienced is not having a pipeline because I started from nothing, you know? So when I first started, I was going week to week to week, just hoping to close something because I think what, regardless, unless you're getting into really high level sales, the your worst fear is getting to the end of the week and selling absolutely nothing. Now that's never happened to me, but that is, that's terrifying, right? When you don't have a funnel, when you don't have a pipeline, I mean, that's, that's a possibility. So now I'm getting to the point where I have this pipeline and things have become a lot better. I want to say easier, but I, one of the hardest things I think is building it up. And then once you drain it, building it back up and it's just like this never ending cycle, but it, it, it's, it is exciting, you know, presenting and closing. That's the fun part. What people don't see is on the phones, making calls and building all of this. So one day, you know, you might get a call with, about a deal that you pitched months ago. That's just now coming to fruition. So that's pretty exciting. I got this money and I heard they found out People making me nervous, making me nervous they Construction! all the time man it just it just doesn't stop around here but it's sunny it's a beautiful day so we're gonna celebrate we're gonna go to summer moon get ourselves a cold brew it is finally feeling perfect here in Texas I'm seeing messages from all my friends back home it's like 45 degrees and rainy and nasty this just feels amazing. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of seeing cilantro, but it is so good every single time. But unfortunately, Austin has had a boil advisor for the last week, so you can't drink the water out of the tap. Really doesn't affect me much unless you wanna to go to coffee shops because I'm guessing Summer Moon is not gonna have cold brew, which is so disappointing. God bless you, Summer Moon. God bless you, man. I am so happy right now. They just made my entire day. They go and pick up bottled water so they can make coffee for the people. Great A, customer service. Now I'm walking to pick up my pants. In the last video, I said something to the effect of the pants I was getting from Wulem and they were only $130. And some people left comments like, only $130, that's ridiculous, all this. Guys, I was, I was speaking in relative terms. Like if you're gonna get a nice pair of pants, they're gonna cost you a hundred bucks. So you might as well spend 28 more dollars to get pants that actually fit you well. That's just, it's just my opinion. You don't have to, you don't have to get all mad. It's not that serious, I promise you. Like everything on my body right now is from Lulu and it just fits a little bit better. Now I do what I want, 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 now I do what I want. So I went in just with the intentions of picking up pants that got altered and I end up with quite a bit more. But they treat me very well at Lululemon at the domain. So if you guys are in the area, please stop by, tell them that I sent you. But overall, this honestly has been the best week of my life that I've had in sales. I sold more than I ever have in one week and it wasn't just one big sale, which is what I was trying to get away from. I was like living and dying by a big sale. This, I got one big sale, but then I just got a bunch of other smaller sales as well that really added up to quite a bit. So that is the direction that I'm trying to move, take a little bit of that pressure off from just relying on having that one, that one sale that's gonna hold you over for the entire week. So that's one of the things that I'm learning. And also, 
the one meeting close. I'm sure you guys have heard of that before. Just being able to go into a meeting, meeting someone for the first time and closing on the spot. It's not something I've been very good at, but I've done it a few times this week and that feels very, very good. So you're gonna be much more efficient that way. You don't have to set up follow-up after follow-up just to close a deal. And also, health and nutrition wise, this was very good. The best week I've had since I've moved to Austin, Texas. My workouts were amazing. I worked out six times this week. Nutrition, very, very good. Didn't really stray away from what I was wanted to be eating. So I think things are starting to go back to normal. Now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. For the three people that might be interested, these are the regular ABC pants from Lululemon. These are not the joggers. These are just the regular 34 inch, as you can see at the bottom. These right here are the 31 inch, I believe. These are the joggers. A little bit more casual, both fit pretty great. For shirts, we got this thermal with the hood, which I just thought was pretty cool. We also got this warm long sleeve shirt. I really don't have many long sleeve shirts at all, so I picked this, this up, as well as this green shirt. A little bit, um, I don't know more casual than I'm used to wearing, I guess, for a t-shirt, but it'll do. I gotta clean this up, it's driving me crazy. I tried to make this a little bit aesthetic for you guys. Obviously, I didn't do the best job, but hey, we have two chicken sausages. As you can see, I kinda just make up protein for the entire week and eat it throughout. Red potatoes with a little bit of ketchup and green beans, and this is a seasoning that I'm using. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot. I tend to think this is a little bit overrated, but that's just my unpopular opinion. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> and that is where we are going to end the video, my friends. Please leave your feedback on this video down below. Let me know what you think. I haven't done many videos during the week since moving here. I find these videos more relatable. It's more interesting content in my mind, but I know some of you guys might think it's just too much talking, not enough action. So I kind of want to get you guys feedback on that. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me and like this video. That is pretty awesome. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.